In November 2019, on a brisk Dublin evening, local law enforcement from the Garda National Drugs and Organized Crime Bureau started an operation that would significantly impact the city. With vital intelligence in hand, they stormed a residence in Woodford Grove, Kildare, unaware that their actions would become a pivotal moment in combating organized crime. In today's video, we are going to talk about Trevor, who has been the Kinahan Cartel's number one gunman. So, how was this operation connected to Trevor, and how did things pan out after this operation? Going back to the night of November 2019, the officers who were leading the operation inspected the primary residence and uncovered a small outbuilding hidden in the garden. Tensions rose as they saw movement inside and prepared for confrontation. The night's silence was shattered as they entered the shed, guns ready. Inside, they encountered two individuals lounging on an old sofa including the infamous Trevor Bjorn, who was known and wanted for his daunting criminal record. As the police pointed their guns at the two and told them to give up, Bjorn stood still and looked at them. After giving them two more orders and not hearing back, the officers put their guns away safely, grabbed the men, and pulled them to the ground. That night was a big win for Dublin in its fight against organized crime. Trevor Byrne was finally caught. He was a key member of the Kinahan cartel and had a past of violence. Byrne got a nine-year prison term for gun crimes in late 2020, just before Christmas. Under the couch where Byrne was sitting, a loaded 9mm gun was discovered. It was linked to Byrne through DNA. Byrne denied the charges at first, but later accepted guilt in the special criminal court. He said he had the gun for self-defense since he had been forced to leave the country in 2016 because his life was in danger. In 2020, just a few months after being sentenced, Bjorn had to deal with new court problems. He had been convicted of more than 40 crimes before this one. He was now being accused of a failed armed robbery at B.O. Sports, a betting shop in Applewood Village. After what happened in 2010, he threatened to kill a woman and took her car by force. The court found him guilty, mostly because of his cell phone that was left at the scene of the crime and CCTV video that showed who he was. Bjorn was given an extra 17.5 years in prison for the gun charges and the theft. Bjorn had been to jail before though, so this wasn't his first time. In 2005, he was given an eight-year prison term for planning a daring off-license robbery, which showed another part of his criminal past. Ten guards were threatened with guns, a patrol car was taken over, and he finally got away in a taxi while the Garda chased him. Bjorn stole from the swords just four months after he got out of prison in November 2009. Violence lying, and daring crimes that have changed the city for good are all parts of his life story. But his image goes beyond the violent things he did. He was a key figure in the Kinahan cartel's drug operations in Finglas, which made people both respect and fear him. Bjorn was a member of the dangerous Gucci gang that terrorized the area. He learned from Glenn David Ward, also known as Mr. Flashy, who became the crime boss of Finglas in 2017. He was one of the main suspects in the 2014 shooting of the infamous criminal John Gilligan. Gilligan accused Bjorn of planning to kill him twice in 2013 and 2014. Gilligan and Bjorn had been at odds for a long time. It all started when they were both in Portwise jail at the same time. There, Bjorn is said to have attacked Gilligan on the orders of Brian Meehan, who was angry about an interview Gilligan had made to the media. Even though Gilligan was sure Bjorn was responsible for at least one assault, Bjorn was never charged in connection with these crimes. A lot of people in the Garda think that Trevor Bjorn had a big part in the famous Kinahan Hutch feud, which caused a lot of trouble in the city. He was especially linked to a number of violent gang-related shootings, such as the brutal killing of Eddie Nettie Hutch, who was the brother of Gary the Monk Hutch. This took place only three days after the famous 2016 shooting at the Regency Hotel. 
Nettie was going home around 7.45 p.m. He had been working as a cab driver. When Nettie got out of his taxi, he was met by four guys getting out of a BMW. As they chased him into his house, they opened fire and shot him up to nine times. He died in the hallway while his wife was still there. Bearden was arrested in May 2016 and questioned for several days at Mount Joy Garda Station. He was one of the first nine people to be charged with Nettie's death. Bearden was quickly named as the leading suspect, but he was finally freed without being charged. In Dublin, though, rumors about his role stuck around. Bearden left the country after being freed and is thought to be hiding in the UK. Surprisingly, he went back to Ireland not long before he was arrested in 2019, which went against Dublin's opinion that they had seen him last. Bearden was caught again for the murder of Eddie Hutch in April 2023, while he was serving a 17.5-year sentence at Mount Joy Prison. He was thought to be one of the shooters. Even though the case is still going on, Bearden's power inside the prison has not gone away. He takes pride in being a gangster and forms relationships with other Kinahan cartel members who are in jail with him. A set of pictures from the prison that were posted online show Bjorn having a normal life with his fellow prisoners in a high-security prison. These pictures, taken on his 40th birthday party, show that he is connected to several Kinahan cartel members who are in jail, such as Kevin Gibson, Graham Gardner, Glenn Thompson, and Robert Brown. Gibson got seven years in jail for planning a big cocaine smuggling operation worth 280,000 euros. Gibson was sentenced because he was close to Liam, a well-known drug cartel leader. Gardner, who was named as a Kinahan quartermaster, is currently serving a nine-year sentence for having a large amount of guns that were seized by Garda during an operation in 2016 that was meant to catch the Kinahan gang. Investigators thought that these guns were meant to be used against one of Gary the Monk Hutch's most important allies. Thompson and Brown, who used to be in the British Army, were both given jail terms of 17.5 and 11.5 years, respectively, for having a gun. They were caught in a van in an underground parking lot, only 250 meters from the home of their intended target, Patrick Patty Hutch, who is also one of the Monk's brothers. For a long time, Bjorn has been linked by Garda information to Kinahan cartel members who live in Dublin. As an experienced gangster, he used to have to depend on his cartel ties to keep him safe from Eamon the Don Dunn, the feared criminal leader. Bjorn was friends with the late John Daly, a notorious thief from Finglas who was known for being loud and moody. In 2007, Daly was killed because people thought he was getting too close to the Don's area in North Dublin. It is said that Eamon Dunn, hitman Patty Doyle, and Fat Freddie Thompson, who was in jail, paid 1,000 euros to have Daly killed. Dunn was afraid of getting hurt for killing Daly, so when Bjorn got out of prison in December 2009, he told him to show his loyalty by setting up another criminal, John Paul Joyce. But Bjorn said no and instead asked the gang to protect him. Also working with the Don was Gary Hutch, who asked Daniel Kinahan for permission to move Byrne to the Costa del Sol. Dunn still killed John Paul Joyce, even though he knew this was wrong. He himself died the next April. 